Today, we are reviewing the biggest smartphone ever. It yeah. has a seven inch HD display. That's massive, that's bigger than any flagship phone out there. It's bigger than the iPhone, it's bigger than the Note 9. 6.4. This, this is 6.4. We're, we're reviewing today something that is even bigger than this. Yeah, even bigger than the Pixel. It's like a tablet, if I'm gonna be yeah, honest. But a phone. Yeah, so it's gonna be pretty exciting. It is the Blue Advance A7. This is massive. Some of the other specs include quad core, 1.3 gigahertz processor. It's got one gigabyte of RAM, so okay, not great. Yeah. It's got a five megapixel camera on the back, which also isn't that great, and a two megapixel selfie camera, which also isn't that great. So the specs are okay, but we're the, really the, excited to see how big the phone will be. Yeah, it also only has 3G high-speed data. That That's, that's not good. Uh, you can't even stream videos with it. It's rocking Android 7.0, and it only has 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Expandable up to 64. The biggest smartphone out there for only $110 on Amazon. Let's take a look at it. Right, well, scale of one to 10. I'm pretty excited. Although the specs aren't that good, and they're not really good compared to a lot of the other smartphones out there today, this is gonna be massive. It's like your Kindle. Yeah, is well, it's like a Kindle. killing you? I mean, it's not terrible. The presentation's not bad. It's the smartphone inside of a hard foam. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's out. It feels kind of like a Kindle. Does it? If I'm being quality? honest. Oh, and it comes with a screen protector. I like how some phones come with screen protectors. Yeah. A lot of people use them. I know you don't. I use screen, screen protector. Okay, so use a micro USB to it's normal an USB. You don't see those two too often. This is for transferring from your old cell phone. Um, this is typically what you would use. Micro USB, USB, you plug in your old phone. It transfers everything. And then the charging block. Yeah. It has dual SIM card capabilities. Only at 3G though. I mean, if you're someone who doesn't watch a lot of video or stream on but your But I feel like a phone like this, you'd want to be watching a video since it's so, the screen's so big. That is massive. Like, let's just compare it real quick before we turn it on. Look at the difference. Holy cow. Nathan, you're a large person. Can you fit that in your pocket? Should I try? <laughs> you gotta try. I kind of, I don't know. Front pocket? I don't know why me having a large, large person with impact pocket. That's kind of weird. So you probably wouldn't see me walking around this with my front pocket. Maybe my back pocket. If you had one of the suits, maybe in a suit. Oh, look at that. You got the wrapping still on it. The back pocket? No, I feel like that would just fall out. Hundred percent. So this is something you'd put like in your suit jacket or maybe your bag. But let's turn it on the blue advanced A4. Does it need to be charged? Oh, powered by Android. I mean, to be honest, the screen to body ratio isn't quite there. I mean, we're talking about notches versus just. Yeah, you have got, you've got a massive forehead. Yeah. The massive forehead, a massive chin, and what chubby do they call cheese. these? And chubby, <laughs> che chubby cheeks on the side. Android is starting. I feel like this might take a while. It's, a, it's not the most advanced smartphone. All right, get started. Let's do this quickly. All right, it looks like we're in. To be honest, the brightness on the screen is full already. Is already full. Well, we have some pretty bright lights. Yeah. It's not too bad. You can see it pretty well. Scrolling's okay. But I mean, it's a seven inch display. You're supposed to be consuming media on it. Here we go, we're gonna be trying out YouTube. Another positive thing about this phone is it comes fully charged, which I really appreciate. What are we gonna watch, Nathan? We're gonna watch our latest video. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were us. Wait, it just closed the app? See the box? The box. Oh, it just shut off. It says HD. Pretty sure that only means 720p. All right, so what are we gonna watch, Nathan? We are gonna watch our latest YouTube video that's posted online. We tried this before, but then it it, it shut down itself and then updated. Unbox. If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that big subscribe button and like the video if you enjoyed it. Okay, here we go. 
Let's see what the quality is like on this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So it has a... Do you want to hold it there? Oh yeah, sure. Is it even... Let's get bad. Wait, so time out. Let's see if we can change the setting first. We have a big announcement. We do. Alright, 720p. Is it changed? How's that? Oh, it's pretty laggy. Gosh. <laughs> is that... That's not a Wi-Fi problem. Our Wi-Fi is pretty quick in here. That's Ooh. pretty bad. Try oh. maybe. Oh, oh well, yep. I didn't touch anything. I didn't touch anything. I was just holding is it. Is it like overheating? Oh, I sure hope not. It's pretty warm right there. Is it really? Is that the battery? Oh, that is. It is a bit warm. It's not. It's not too hot. Is there anything? That's the speaker. So the speaker grill is at the back. You have your micro USB at the very front of it, as well as the headphone jack. Well, that's great. Too bad you can't watch anything. You have, of course, your earpiece right here. It is a phone. And your selfie camera right beside it. On the back, another rear camera. Five megapixel camera and the flash. Well, I think this device needs to update. All right, so we're gonna be trying this again. Uh, the phone has crashed twice and it has tried to update itself. Yeah, Both times taking like 10 minutes. Really not sure why it keeps on trying to update itself. The last time we did play a YouTube video, I don't know if we're gonna keep it in, but it was lagging like crazy. Uh, we were surprised that it didn't play a YouTube video, but we'll see. So our latest video, let's try this out. Here we go. We have a big announcement. Ooh. Was it like? Alright, quality, 720p, rotate, rotate. Just play like that. So, it is very laggy at 720p. Uh, it's getting better actually. Get out of here. No, it's it's still pretty laggy. The qual the sound quality. Did you just update it? All right. So the world's largest smartphones with the worst spec. Um, for $110, Nathan. Absolutely not. No. Uh, Absolutely not. We were kind of excited. We were like, wow, maybe this could be a good bargain for you guys, the A7 Advance by Blue. Maybe it's just having software issues. It could be a thing. The main thing going for it was the size. This is bigger than any smartphone on the market. It has the, it's in the same size range as a tablet, but it yeah. has phone capabilities. That's pretty much it. That's the only thing that's going for it. The cameras suck. The <laughs> sound quality sucks. The video lags at 720p, which is brutal. It only has 3G internet, which is a huge thing. That means you cannot stream any sort of media. You can't watch any videos while streaming it. It's just like texting and maybe photos. That's what 3G is known for. Um, but our recommendation, get an older phone for hundred bucks. You can find good phones out there, yeah. decent phones. Or if you want this, just get an iPad with LTE. Or that. Very expensive. Anyways, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe if you're new.